So good morning, this is the Banner Bunch. Uh, let me uh, introduce everybody that's here. Um, we've got Carl Rhodes on the end, uh, Kimmy Damon, Mark Harling, Lori Peterson, and Teresa. The other Patterson. Patterson. <laughs> 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 and I'm Michael We're Pointer. two separate people. Right. Most of you guys know that. Yeah. Other people don't. No, we. I know that. <laughs> and we're missing, I guess, Tyler. Is he still out sick today? No, he's here. He's oh, is he? Crazy. Is he working? Okay. And, okay. and uh, Gabe had another meeting up in the someplace else. So, uh, welcome to the Banner Bunch. We're going to look at Quick Flow. And uh, I don't know how long we planned on talking about that, and then we'll maybe take some questions and see if we can help you with that. How about you? So good morning, guys. Um, there's a little sheet going around to sign in if you haven't done that already. Thank you. And then there's beauty copies, and if you came in, you saw those. What we want to play with today is give you guys just a quick introduction about QuickFlow and, and the process that it takes in order to get that set up. It's really easy. Um, sounds like Bev has used it in the new student center. However, until Jane Tillman mentioned QuickFlow at one of the other banner brunches, when I said, hey, you know, what are the things you'd like to see more about? Um, I had no idea it was out there and that it was so easy to use and actually is able to cut down on some of your credit caps. Instead of having to type in your form name every single time you need to go do something, if you've got a series of things that you do, this is a way for you to actually process multiple forms without actually having to type in each form name when you get ready to go to it. So the first thing I want to show you guys is where it actually resides on the banner menu. It's actually a part of the banner menu system that you can get to. Only if they have it. Right. So if this is something you're interested in working with, you need to let Teresa know, the other Patterson, <laughs> and she'll go ahead and help get you set up with that. So on the banner main menu, you're going to go to the banner um, at the bottom. And then you're going to choose the general menu because this is one of the general um, functions. And then you've got a system functions and administration that you're going to end up going to. And under system functions and administration, there's a quick flow process. And under that quick flow process, once you get to that menu, like Carl said, once it's open, it's open. You have three different things that you have to do, two things you do to set it up, and then one thing that you will execute each time you want to use it. They have in the in the brackets, they have the name of what you would do to get to these different places. So you don't have to drill down through the menu once you are comfortable with where you're going, just type in that, that menu name like you would do um, to go to Spain or wherever else. So the first thing you gotta do is actually set up your validation. So you're gonna go to that GTB quick to get you started. You're gonna do a record insert, you're gonna go to the very last line where you can put something in, and we're gonna put in I'm going to put in dirt because I do a lot of work with dirt and I'm heavily going into things one by one by one. Once you get done putting in a code that's special for you and your description that's whatever you want to name it as, you're going to hit the save button. As long as you've got it saved, you know that it's out there, then X out of that form and go to that next um, option on your menu. So the, the GUA Quick is actually where you're going to define what you want to see, what you want to do when you're executing that Quick Flow function. So when I use the DIRT Quick Flow function, these are the different forms that I want to go to. You can always use your drop down. So if you don't remember what you called it, you can use your drop down and go grab it again. And right now you can see I don't have anything in my in my forms that are set up. That current forms is actually what's going to execute for me when I actually tell it I want to use my quick flow. So the order you put them in here is the order in which you want them to exist when you go out and, and are processing stuff. So the first thing that I do when I'm playing with the dirt, I go to Spain to make sure that I, I get to see what my data is. So I'm going to type in Spain because I know that that's what I want. So I've got Spain. And then I know the next thing I end up doing, I go off to Sagastin. So I'm going to type in Sagastin because I know I have that one that I want also. And I know that there's a form that I go to, but I don't exactly remember what the name of it is. I know it starts with an SAA. I know it's admission. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to search for that in the available forms. So, and 
And when you're over in that spot, you're going to have one little quick help tick at the bottom. And it will tell you to hit enter. So you type in what you want to try to find and hit the enter key, and it will bring up what it can and matches. So I want the admissions application. I want those bottoms. Just because when I'm working with DIRT, there ends up being applications out there. I need to see what it is that they have on their stuff first so I know that it's correct. So I'm going to grab that one. I'm going to use the arrow key. So I'm going to hide it. I'm use the arrow key to move it over. Not too difficult. And so for this example, that's going to be the last thing that we're going to do. So we're going to hit the save button, and we're going to close out this one. Uh, pretty slick. So when you guys want to create a, a quick flow process, that's literally all you have to do to get that process set up. That's a one-time deal unless you need to go in and change it. You can add things and change things within your process. So maybe, you know, you're doing something and all of a sudden you realize, oh, now there's someplace else I have to go. Go insert it. Go add it to the, the process you've created. So the third thing that we're going to do for this example, and then this is all you would have to do to use it in the future, is just go ahead and build that quick flow of use. So I don't remember what I called my quick flow process because it's been months since I've been there. So I'm going to use drop down. I'm going to go find my little spot. Double click on that guy. That's what I'm going to use. And you just tell to start. It will go to the first form that you specified when you created that flow. So I'm sitting in Spade. You're going to type in your use whatever pseudonym you're working with. You're going to process to whatever you want to process to on this form, just like you normally would. So whatever plane you're going to do with your name. Okay. You can make changes. You can make corrections. As soon as you hit the Save button or you click the X, it's going to take you out of this form. And it'll take you to the next one. Uh, okay. So come they didn't like the address. <laughs> yeah. They didn't like me. So you look right me first. Alright, so don't be over there right me first. Those that can tell you don't want to say. There we go. Or tell you no, no, I don't want to say. So now we're actually going to go to the second form. So the second form I specified in my process was Sagastin. So now I need to work through Sagastin, do whatever it is that I needed to do in Sagastin. And you can play throughout this as you wish. You can, and once you save it, it's going to take you to the next form. Or once you close it, it'll take you to the next form. That's what it is. Now I'm on Saturn's form, and I can process through here. So for what I do in some of my stuff, I don't have to change anything. I just need to go and look at stuff. So it looks really nicely not to have to type in a form name, go page through and look at my things, next block, next block, and then get out of that and go and type in the next form name and go through those different pieces. Um, there are other examples where you actually may want to be changing information. And if you find that you're having to save multiple things on a form, then put that form in multiple times. If you save it and you want to come back in and look at it or whatever your, your function may be, just put that form on your quick flow twice. Understanding that if you don't use that, understanding that if you didn't need to see it twice, you're going to see it twice and you can just execute that form. When we're all done, it takes you back to that first, first part so you can start it again or you can close it. And that's as difficult as quick flow ends up being. So your, um, there is another product that Banner has that we have had for years and years and years that we've never used, and that's called Workflow. So Workflow is quick flow on steroids. We've not um, done a lot of work with Workflow. However, there is additional functionality that exists within Workflow. So if you guys get into using quick flow and you realize that there are really some other things that need to happen and you want somebody to review your process with you, then just give Gabe a holler and let him know that it's something you'd like to look over and review. And he will look into that with you guys and make sure that they help you guys do things that are uh, efficient and not good slow return. Okay, what's the difference between quick flow and workflow? Workflow is, is a, like a steroid product. Right. product. Yeah. It's, so, it's, so workflow is going to do things like 
you go to a form, you process something, then once you save out of it, it sends an email off to somebody or it or it's there's I believe document. Uh, I believe there's document processing that can happen within it as well. So it would it'll do things, it'll create tasks for people to send emails to people or it's, it's a, a much more complicated product than what Kinflow is. But there's more functionality within it to do a variety of other other tasks that didn't have it. The documentation for QuickFlow ends up being in the, the general manual out there, the banner docs. It's uh, under systems functions and administration, kind of like that menu tab was. And there's literally, um, it's on page 150, 151, and 152, and it's literally creating and using QuickFlow, which is exactly what you and I just did together on the screen with Carl's help. And then there's a creating QuickFlow, which is what we just did, and then there's using it. So your documentation is basically as simple as what we just did in the course. Do they have any questions for it? Kevin's thinking. I have a, a concern on, on the very first form that Kimmy brought up was the validation table that listed all the forms that are available out there. That doesn't necessarily mean you have access to all that. And you're not, you won't get access to that. This is just so if for like registration, you do registration, you're going to create your your quickflow within that for every form that you use. And you so, may check in if, because you guys are doing registration for students. You may check in with Annie's side of the house and ask them, do they have what they're using? Well, they do for okay. yeah, they they do it for for the new students and stuff. But there are things that you're specifically doing over and over and over, like my dirt. Um, I was doing validation for high school stuff, and I had to have four and five different forms I was going into, and it was really slick to grab, you know, a, a, an ID and copy that ID, and then just click the X button and then paste that ID in. I didn't have to type any form in again. Oh, okay. Oh, so Mark is just showing us how it gets quick flow faster than using the menu buttons. So it's listed under file if you have access to the uh, enable. Cool, that's even slippery when getting new. Yeah. Okay, Kevin, what were you thinking? Is there a way, I don't think there is, I'm just curious. Is there a way if you either knew ahead of time you wanted to go back to another screen where you had to find the same? I would just put it in there multiple, multiple times. times. Yeah. yeah, but if you're in one and you decide, oh, shoot, I go back to the last one, is there a way to do that? Or do you have to Not that I know yeah. of. So, is it something that might be helpful to me, you guys? I mean, it sounds like some of you are using something that was already set up, but. Right? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Because. Get muscle memory. Yes, but having to go through the round of this micro here. It's it's nice for the new employees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they don't for as longevity there. people, we yeah. just we we just know what to try yeah. and to get out of that habit. Um, I use it. Um, I have two set up in the front counter for registration. One is for continuing students. One is for third students because for continuing students. It's easy to forget to do something even as long as we've been doing it. And so it very nice. is very plus it's a way of reminding my staff, okay, you need to remember to check the address every time. Mm -hmm. this kind of thing. So that's yeah, that yeah. so so then like Kevin, sometimes you need to go back one mm -hmm. and that means you either have to uh, just you know run through all the other screens, close it out and go back to the screen, you know, type in the screen that you want. Can you, is there on the QuickFlow list when you did a search? Is that just for user specific, or is it for everybody? So, so Gwen's, um, your two different ones would be out there for anybody to use. From what it sounds like, it's different than what registration here uses because we take payments, mm -hmm. right? Um, right, and so that makes it a, a, a different process. Than but if Levin and Sarah want to use your, your quick flow for either new students or returning, they could use it already. It's already set up for that. 
Right. Exactly. <laughs> so if there are changes that you want made to something that's already out there and you know it's something that was created only for you, then you can assume that it would be okay to change that. But if you know that there's a, a screen, there's a form that you would very often make changes to and then have to go back to, then add it, have it added to that the process. And if you don't need it, hit the X button and go on the next one. Because then you would at least have it there. You don't have to make notes and go back and you know fix the address because you hit save and realize you forgot to put in whatever. I think it's easier not harder for ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions about the form? It was quick, no pun intended. Actually, it was. It is. It's but really, once you get into it, it's really helpful, especially for the recovery. It's um, just a different. I get in first instead of the screen. And gentlemen, if, if you're using multiple sessions of banner so that you actually have one up that you're doing your quick close stuff in, you have another one you're processing, you know, immediate things start coming up. You don't have to remember where you were at because it's it's obviously you're at because you're so if you guys don't have questions about quick flow. What do you have questions about or comments or suggestions or, or, or are there pain points in your job? We talked about this before. How can our department help make your job easier? Less repetitive, less time consuming. Aside from you know, hiring additional people to make the work <laughs> which they all struggle with. Because we want to know what we can do to help make things better for you guys. Are there processes that you guys use that you go through that you would like Gabe to come sit with you and, and see? Gabe's really knowledgeable. Um, we were, since he's out in here and probably won't watch the video, um, we were very blessed to get Gabe on our campus because Gabe has a lot of experience with Banner already. So when we have trouble with a lot of things, we go to Gabe and he can say, oh, for well, this, oh, for well, that, or hey, have you tried this, or you know, did you know about something else? He's also not afraid to dig into documentation and get information for us. So if you guys have needs or wants or whatever, please, you know, his door is always open. He's not an untouchable. Come in and let him know the things that you need. Yeah. No pain points? <clears throat> Are some things? Are there some things that you'd like us to to uh, talk about or demonstrate here in the future? We're, we're doing this every month, and uh, are we are we hitting things that you need to know about? I'm not sure if this is the setting for it or not, um, but one of the things I've come across is. Uh, with myself and other people, there's uh, a lot of things in Banner that people just don't know about. Mm -hmm. uh, like a lot of the things that are, the people use a limited view of things and they have access to do a lot more things, mm -hmm. but they don't know that it's there. So again, without getting into everybody's specific area, because we all have different access and different things that we use it for, I'm not sure if here's appropriate, but um, that's the only Banner related thing that is one of the four times where um, somebody asks a question, or I ask a question, and somebody shows me something really cool I didn't know about, and that kind of thing. That, um, That's where the super user in your area would, would help you out on okay. that. Uh, because they know your, your job, or mm -hmm. every, they have a good idea what everybody's doing, right. and, or the band docs. Yeah, that's actually that's true. Those are pretty helpful. You know, yeah. um, because we can't, we, we don't know step by step what your job is. Right. Um, so I would I would highly recommend talking to a, a super user or read your band box. And, uh, and then the Illusion Hub. Yeah. I know yeah. I've read it a couple of different times. You've talked about using it. Yeah, it's awesome. And you like it and you the one banner mm -hmm. bunch. Uh, e communities is out there, and that's your opportunity to have access to hundreds of other banner um, banner users that are going through probably some of the same similar things you are. And you can post out there and say, "Hey, anybody else out there got a problem with Quick Flow or know how to use Quick Flow? What's a you know, 
how, what's an easy way to do X, Y, and Z, and, and get responses back from what's going on. Yeah. And maybe um, one of the things is, you know, maybe I need to set up something, or we need to set up something, business office, or hey, any finances or anybody who wants reports. Well, that, that may be uh, something to do is have uh, you and Margie come up here and do the presentation for the band of that would maybe great. Yeah. 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 I would just, I, I wanted to mention this. Uh, last week was the Northwest Aleutians Users Group, and uh, Mark and, and Kimmy and Gabe and a couple people from HR uh, went up there. There was about 150 uh, Aleutian, both um, Banner and colleague users up there at Pacific University for, for two days. Uh, Sitting with people from Aleutian, sitting with uh, people from other schools. Um, it was a great opportunity, and we're going to do that here at Lean Benton next summer. And uh, I'm starting to talk about it now, even though it's a year away, because uh, it's a great opportunity for lots of people from lots of different places to come to the campus uh, and meet people that are maybe doing the same thing that you do at other schools and how do they do it, uh, you know, what kind of forms do they use, are they different from the way we do it, um, just a great opportunity. So we'll have a date for that pretty soon and we'll ask you to put on your calendar, but start thinking about that. And then to tag on to that message, if you guys have not gotten to go to Aleutian Live, or maybe you have gone but it's not something you do every year, Aleutian Live ends up putting on presentations, that's basically what it is, it's just an entire, you know, three-day, four-day session of training sessions. That's what this Northwest Aleutian Users Group will do. We will actually be hosting here multiple sessions for people to go to. So or if there are things that you want to see more on, maybe we want to see some sessions on workflow to understand how it works, we could ask other institutions that are going to be coming to, to the um, conference to actually help present to us how they use workflow. If you had a specific area you wanted to know about, so you wanted registration and admissions or, or payment processing or whatever, that would be something that we would specifically ask for. So if you have any interest for what you would like to go sit down in a session and learn, please let us know because we need to fill the sessions to things that are relevant to people so that it's not a waste of people's time and so the sessions are actually attended. Thank you. Sure. They were easy on us. <laughs> <laughs> There's more of you than us. But we're like, yeah, so I'm more afraid of you than you are of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I imagine we're just supposed to grab bagels and bagels and smears. <laughs> 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 So Carl's change it off to our whole thank you. We appreciate you guys being here. We greatly appreciate you attending. That way we're not talking to ourselves and trying to make up stuff to say for an hour. <laughs> um, the video that was created, the recording that was done with this will actually be out on the little website. So eventually when Paul Tannehill gets that put out there for us, we'll have a, a little spot. And you'll actually, there's the others that we've done that we recorded are also out.